another massive and destructive hurricane, which has been given the name of Milton, is expected to hit western Florida near Tampa late Wednesday. <clears throat> Milton is currently a Category 5 hurricane. The winds Speed may change as the hurricane moves over the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico tonight and turns back east toward Florida. FEMA has less than 10% of its staff available to assist people and businesses affected by this uh, upcoming hurricane. The remainder are already deployed in areas devastated by Hurricane Helene and other natural disasters. While Congress recently increased FEMA's disaster funding by $20 billion, that is not going to be enough to cover two major hurricanes hitting close together. I read an article in The Atlantic that whatever Congress thinks uh, would cover uh, natural disasters needs to be at least doubled in the amount uh, because these things, are, these problems are going to occur with, uh, with regularity in the future. There are articles and maps that show how this recent uh, Hurricane Milton has garnered strength by the unusually warm water in the Gulf. I will cite an article uh, from the Washington Post that has a map that shows the temperatures being much higher now than the average over the 10-year period ending in 2023. Home insurance rates in Florida, which are already unaffordable to many households, will skyrocket upon annual renewals and more carriers will leave the state which is the only business sensible course of action for them to take. That will also cause the home values of, of, of residents to decrease and even make it difficult to sell uh, their homes even at a much lower price. Although Middle Tennessee, where I live, has no serious weather threats other than an occasional tornado that jumps around and, and destroys a few buildings. None have, have ever come close to where I live. I have noticed my home insurance premiums going up significantly, even though I've never had a claim since I built my home in 1982. I attribute a good chunk of that increase to as a, as a reimbursement to carriers for their losses covering natural disasters occurring elsewhere. Republicans have and will continue to deny that the increase in natural disasters have anything to do with climate change. They will never ex accept climate change science, never. And when it becomes irreversible on the negative impacts and obvious, many will not accept it even then. That is just the way it is and the way it is going to be. For those who are not members of the Trump's cult, uh, you either know that is true or strongly suspect it is true. I'm not trying to change anyone's mind with that observation, but to simply point out that solutions are simply not possible with Republicans in, in power. They are climate deniers, all of them. Florida voters have a choice in November, both in the presidential election and in the Senate seat held by Republican Rick Scott. Are they going to continue to vote for climate change deniers after two major hurricanes? I would probably say yes. I'm pessimistic on that score. Trump and Scott are leading in the polls. I'm citing some relevant information in the more section below.